In 2025, a massive transformation is unfolding beneath the streets of Sydney, a single infrastructure project so massive, so transformative, that it could rewrite the entire mobility DNA of Australia's largest city. Picture billions of dollars of concrete, steel, and human ambition burrowing beneath Sydney's streets, creating an underground superhighway that's more than just a road. It's a lifeline, an economic catalyst, and a testament to human engineering prowess. What if I told you that beneath your feet lies a $45 billion masterpiece that will change how 5 million Sydney siders move, work, and live? WestConnex is Australia's largest road infrastructure project and is a critical part of a broader plan to get Sydney and Australia. Moving again, WestConnex will provide motorists with a continuous 33-kilometer traffic light-free motorway network, comprising over 19 kilometers of tunnel and connections for future projects linking the North Shore and Northern Beaches, Sydney Airport, and the Southern Suburbs. WestConnex is a monumental project that involves the construction of a continuous traffic light-free motorway network cutting across some of the most congested areas in Sydney. Connecting suburbs like Parramatta, Haberfield, and Kingsford Smith Airport, West Connex is designed to take pressure off Sydney's existing roads, making travel more efficient and less time-consuming. The project is a game-changer, especially for daily commuters, business owners, and freight services who rely on Sydney's roads. Who owns West Connex? The Sydney Transport Partners, STP Consortium owns West Connex, Australia's largest road infrastructure project. The consortium includes Transurban Group, the largest investor in the consortium, with a 50% stake. Australian Super owns 20.5% of West Connex Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, CPPIB, owns 10.5% of West Connex, Caisse de Depot et Placement du Québec, CDPQ, owns 10% of West Connex Platinum Tar Reed Investments a 2010 RSC. Limited owns 9% of West Connex. Transurban has managed West Connex since 2018. Who paid for West Connex? The West Connex project was funded by the Australian and New South Wales governments, as well as private sector partners. The NS Dazzler government provided $30 million for this purpose. The Australian government has committed $1.5 billion in funding to deliver West Connex in partnership with the New South Wales government. The Australian government is also providing a concessional loan of $2 billion to accelerate delivery of the new M8. New South Wales government contributed $1.8 billion. Private sector funding of Sydney Transport Partners, a consortium that acquired 100% of West Connex from the New South Wales government for $20.4 billion. Transurban, a tolling giant that owns 50% of the tolling concession for the M4 to M8 link. To our incredible Fuconomy viewers and subscribers, projects like WestConnex prove that technology and human ambition can reshape entire landscapes. Don't just watch, get involved. Want more deep dives into mind-blowing projects? Subscribe now. Tolling on WestConnex, a fairer system for Sydney's roads. The West Connex network uses a distance-based tolling system, which ensures that motorists only pay for the specific sections of the motorway they use. This approach is considered fairer and more equitable, as it charges drivers based on how far they travel rather than a flat rate. Once all the tunnels are open, a toll cap will also be introduced, making West Connex Australia's first multi-concession tolling network. This means that for passenger vehicles, the maximum toll for using the entire length of West Connex will be capped at $11.11 .11 as of 2023, regardless of how far you travel. For heavy vehicles, which cause more wear and tear on the roads, tolls are higher to reflect the extra impact these vehicles have on the motorway. This system aims to create a more efficient and fair way for drivers to pay for using the network while ensuring the roads remain in good condition for everyone. Approach of West Connex, M8. The M8 opened in July 2020, with nine kilometers twin tunnels connecting the M5 at Kingsgrove to a new interchange at St. Peter's. Sistra Bamser were engaged to assist the West Connex Delivery Authority with tunnel constructability analysis during evaluation of contractor tenders. This includes reviewing tunneling methodologies, geotechnical design reports, and proposed tunnel design, providing strategic advice on tunnel construction site suitability. In addition, 
Sister Bamser provided experienced personnel, including tunnel construction, back-end works construction, and mechanical and electrical engineers to provide support the delivery phase of the project. West Connects M4-M5 Link Tunnels Stage 1 of the M4-M5 Link Tunnels opened in January 2023, with a twin tunnel between the M4 at Haberfield and the M8 at St. Peter's and stub tunnels to the Roselle Interchange. Sister Bamser assisted ACOM by providing tunnel constructability inputs and advice during development of the concept design to be used in preparation of the project's business case. This included the provision of the provision of technical and construction guidelines to inform engineering design development, review of constructability issues, advice on tunneling site locations and space requirements. In addition, Sister Bamser provided experienced design review engineers, tunnel construction and back-end work construction engineers, and a construction director during the project's delivery phase. How Sister Bamser played a key role in West Connects' mega project. The new M4 opened in July 2019, with 5.5 kilometers twin tunnels connecting Haberfield to Parramatta and the M4. Sister Bamser were engaged to assist the West Connects Delivery Authority with tunnel constructability analysis during evaluation of contractor tenders. This includes review of geotechnical design reports, proposed tunnel design, ground support, and groundwater control strategy. Review of tunneling methodology, providing strategic advice on proposed tunnel construction sites and the commercial risks related to the construction program. In addition, during the delivery phase, Sister Bamser supplied a construction manager, design engineers, tunnel construction, back-end work constructions, and specialist mechanical and electrical engineers. West Connex Roselle Interchange Connecting Sydney's future, the Roselle Interchange will connect the M4-M5 link to the Anzac and Iron Cove bridges, and the future Western Harbour Tunnel and Beaches link. Sistra Bamser are assisting ACOM with the provision of tunnel and surface constructability inputs and advice. This includes the development of technical-slash-construction guidelines to inform engineering design development, develop construction methodology and delivery program for pre-tender engagement information sessions, providing constructability assessment, risk assessment, and scoring as part of project tender evaluation, Roselle Interchange and its massive benefits. West Connects is a critical part of a broader plan to get Sydney and Australia moving again and is expected to deliver significant benefits to the thousands of people who rely on the roads in Sydney and Western Sydney. Travel times between Parramatta and Sydney's Kingsford Smith Airport will be reduced by up to 40 minutes while bus travel times between the inner west and the city will be halved. Furthermore, capacity on the M5 East Corridor will be doubled. 52 sets of traffic lights will be bypassed, and an estimated 4,000 trucks a day will be removed from Parramatta Road, routing them underground. The West Connex Roselle Interchange is part of the M4 M5 link and will provide an underground motorway interchange to City West Link, as well as provide an underground bypass of Victoria Road between Iron Cove Bridge and Anzac Bridge, with links to the future Western Harbour Tunnel. The Roselle Interchange is being built almost entirely underground freeing up space for a new 10-hectare regional park, which will provide local community amenities such as sporting fields, walking areas, and open communal spaces. These benefits significantly unlock opportunity for neighborhood revitalization, improvement of north-south travel times for public buses accessing the Western Rail Line at Burwood and other stations, and deliver more than billions in economic benefits to New South Wales. How West Connects will impact traffic in Alexandria the release of the M5 East Environmental Impact Statement has raised serious concerns about the impact of the West Connects project on the Alexandria area. Public comments on the EIS are being accepted in January 29th, and many residents are voicing their concerns. The situation is even worse than originally anticipated. Started in 2019, the M5 East will terminate at Sydney Park. And when the project is fully completed, it is expected to dump over 100,000 vehicles into surrounding suburbs, a significant portion of which will flood local streets. This shift in traffic patterns is not accidental. It's a result of the design of the West Connex project, which intentionally funnels traffic into these areas. Specifically, 60,000 vehicles are projected to use Euston Road, which is more than the amount of traffic that currently flows along Victoria Road. 
This represents almost 10 times the current volume of traffic on Euston Road, creating major concerns for the local community in Alexandria about congestion, safety, and quality of life. Conclusion. By creating the longest road tunnel in Australian history, West Connects isn't just solving traffic challenges. It's reimagining how cities breathe, move, and connect. The project's economic impact is staggering, generating thousands of jobs, saving 52 million travel hours annually, and injecting billions into the national economy. Beyond statistics, West Connects tells a story of human potential, showcasing Australia's capacity to transform complex engineering challenges into visionary solutions that will reshape Sydney's transportation landscape for generations.